As with any service complaint, duplicating the problem is the first step in proper troubleshooting and repair. So it's critical to make sure you read all the cautions and warnings in the owner's manual regarding use of the cruise control system before you ride the unit. A very important point to keep in mind on the new FJR is brake lever and brake pedal adjustment and pivot maintenance. There are two independent sets of contacts in each brake switch, one for the brake lights and a separate set for the cruise control system. If the brake lever or pedal do not fully return or are not properly adjusted, the rider may not be able to set the speed in the cruise control system. The cruise control power light would come on, but it would not hold speed. Be sure to maintain the clutch lever pivot too. There are also two independent sets of contacts in the clutch lever switch assembly, one for the starting circuit cutoff system and the other for the cruise control system. Use Yamalu brace grease on the brake pedal pivot and brake caliper grease for the brake lever and clutch lever pivot. And follow the maintenance schedule in the owner's or service manual. To help with troubleshooting, there are some new fault codes and new diagnostic codes programmed into the ECU. Fault code 91 is for the set or resume switch circuits. The service manual lists this fault code for an open or short circuit in either switch, which is actually a misprint. Fault code 91 only detects a short circuit between the set, resume, or cruise power switch wires in the left switch assembly or in the wire harness from the switch to the ECU. For example, if the set and resume wires are shorted together in the switch assembly, pressing either switch would send battery voltage on both wires to the ECU, and fault code 91 would display. But a short circuit to ground on any of the three wires would cause the cruise control system fuse to fail when the corresponding switch is pressed. And fault code 91 will not display when the circuit is open, since the circuit is designed to be open when the switches are not pressed. Also, the service manual mentions fault code 90 in the cruise control system troubleshooting, but 90 is for an open or short in the front or rear brake switch circuits for the brake lights, not the separate circuit for the cruise control system. And we have three new diagnostic codes to help troubleshoot the cruise control system. Diagnostic code 80 checks the cruise control system setting switch in the resume position. This is pin 15 in the 34 pin connector to the ECU, a brown blue wire. Diagnostic code 81 checks the cruise control system setting switch in the set position. This is pin 14 in the 34 pin connector into the ECU, a green blue wire. And diagnostic code 82 checks the cruise control canceling circuit, the clutch switch, both brake switches, and the grip canceling switch. Diagnostic code 82 should display off when the clutch and both brakes are released and the throttle is not rotated forward past the normal closed position. That means all of these switches are closed, changing to on when any of these switches are open. This is pin 22 in the 34 pin connector into the ECU, a light green with blue wire. Diagnostic code 83 is for the actual brake light switches and circuit in the front and rear brakes and for the brake switch relay. It should display off when the brakes are released, not activated, changing to on when either brake is applied. This is pin 31 in the 34 pin connector into the ECU, a light green and black wire. If the cruise control system indicator does not light when the cruise control system power switch is pushed, we'll need to troubleshoot the circuit that turns the cruise control system on and sets or modifies the vehicle speed. Start in the ECU diagnostic system. Go to diagnostic code 80. When the resume switch is released, diag code 80 should display off and change to on when pushed. Then go to diagnostic code 81. When the set switch is released, diag code 81 should display off and change to on when pushed. If this works, we know the cruise control system fuse is good and voltage is getting to the left handlebar switch assembly, so we'll need to troubleshoot just the cruise control power switch and its wire to the ECU. There's no diagnostic code for the power switch, so we'll need to get access to the ECU. Back probe to pin 7 in the 34 pin multi-connector. Should be an orange and white wire. You should see battery voltage when the button is pushed and go away when released. As we just saw, we have diagnostic codes for the resume and the set buttons. So if the problem is the speed will not set, and you're positive you duplicated the complaint while the unit was in third gear or higher, and the speed between 31 and 80 miles an hour, one of the crew's canceling switches must be open. Diagnostic code 82 will help troubleshoot the canceling circuit. To be able to set a speed in the cruise control system, all the canceling switches must be closed. The clutch switch, both brake switches, and the grip canceling switch on the throttle bodies. 
Proper operation is that diagnostic code 82 will display off when all of these switches are closed and change to on when either the clutch lever is pulled in, the front brake lever is pulled, the rear brake pedal is pressed, or the throttle grip is rotated forward past the normal closed position. If diagnostic code 82 displays on all the time, the cruise control system fuse has failed, or the circuit between the cruise control system fuse and the light green and blue wire into ECU pin 22 is open at some point. A broken wire, faulty switch contacts, misadjusted brake switch assembly, or the brake lever or pedal are not fully returning to close the switch contacts. Now it's not likely that diagnostic code 82 would display off all the time. This would mean there's always battery voltage on the light green and blue wire into the ECU on pin 22. Diagnostic code 83 is for the actual brake light switches and circuit in the front and rear brakes and the brake switch relay. Diagnostic code 83 should display off when the brake switches are released, not activated, changing to on when either brake is applied. This is pin 31 in the 34 pin connector into the ECU, a light green and black wire. If the cruise control system power light comes on, there are no current fuel injection fault codes displayed, and diagnostic code 80 and 81 show proper function of the set and resume switches, and diagnostic code 82 shows the canceling circuit is working properly, and you're definitely attempting to set the cruise speed only in third gear or higher between 31 and 80 miles an hour, but the cruise control system still will not set a speed, then that would indicate a YCCT system or ECU failure, which are very rare. It will be far more common to have a failed switch or wiring a connection problem or a mechanical issue with a brake or clutch switch causing a cruise control system failure. So be sure you make good test connections and double check your work. One of these steps will reveal the cause of the problem. 